So I had someone recently ask me a question, what's worse, bread or potato? So this video is going to talk about each one. Let's start with potato. Now, instant potatoes really spike your blood sugars fast because you're heating and processing this potato down to this tiny little wafer-like particle. So when you boil it or cook it, you're getting a, a very fast spike in blood sugars. So that starch is completely broken down. So 97. Now glucose is 100. So you're, you're dealing with a product that's very, very close to pure glucose. And then we get baked potato. That's 84. It's pretty high. Then we get boiled potato, which is 82. The more you cook the potato, the worse effect it has on your blood sugars. If you consume a raw potato, you're going to be pretty much good to go. In fact, I'm going to tell you right now, you can eat as many raw potatoes as you want. Okay, but of course, who's going to eat raw potato? They taste terrible. But the point you need to know is like the cooking. Cooking starts breaking down the starch into something that's higher and higher on the glycemic index. Now, what about a sweet potato? See this word sweet right here? It has three times as much sugar. So if you have a choice, definitely don't do the sweet potato because it's pretty sweet. All right, now if we switch over here to bread, people think that whole wheat bread is so much better. It's virtually the same on the glycemic index 74. But look at that. This is actually lower than potato. So right there, this would be worse. But bread, many times, especially white bread, it has bleach in there, which destroys your vitamin E. It depletes your B vitamins, especially vitamin B1. And also, if you do whole wheat, you're going to have phytates in the bran. Phytates or phytic acid will block zinc, creating a zinc deficiency. And then you have the gluten, the protein in wheat, which will tear up your gut, create a lot of inflammation. And you may not find that the blood sugars spike immediately, but you may find after two hours, they start going a little bit higher, or even three hours, they start going even higher. When you're consuming pasta, you'll see a delayed spike in blood sugars. So just because you don't see a quick spike in blood sugars doesn't mean it's not a problem. It's kind of delayed. You'll see it a post maybe, I don't know, two or three hours. But when you get into potato, you're going to see an instant spike. What's interesting is that an average American consumes 53 pounds of bread every single year. Now the question is, what is worse? Well, they're both kind of on the same level because this creates more of a blood sugar issue, but this will create other issues like zinc deficiency, gut inflammation, vitamin E deficiencies, and also a vitamin B deficiency. But other than that, I think it's perfectly healthy, and I'm being sarcastic. Thanks for watching. Hey, we're back. With another amazing recipe. No grains, no sugar, totally keto. There's no suffering in keto. Absolutely not, Karen. And it's an immune system builder. Absolutely. You have to check this out. I think you should hurry up, watch the recipe, and make it yourself. It's just so easy to be keto. But is it simple? It's super simple. We hope you enjoy making it as much as we are enjoying eating it.